All right, here's my blank and it's ready to go on the lathe. It is currently about nine and three quarters. I cut it from a four quarter soft maple plank that was around 10 inches across. While it was still square, I marked the center and I popped the center so that I can find it with the tailstock and the point on the tailstock. Before I start turning, I need to make, I need to decide what size, what size my recesses will be. I'm going to make a recess on the front side first and then on the back side. Since I'm gonna use the same size recess, I don't want it to be really big. So this is about two inches and that's about big enough for this recess. So as you can see, I have my chuck on here and I'm just going to trap this between the tailstock and, and the jaws of the chuck. And I really have a choice, make it round first, which I don't necessarily care so much about, or turn the recess, which of course this will end up being the top side of the plate. So let's go ahead and turn that first. Once I have the tailstock in place, I'm gonna do like we all do. This is a tight fit. I am almost at full capacity of this little jet lathe and almost at full capacity here of my tail stock. So things are very close. But once it is set up, I wanna make my recess. This will end up being the front of the plate, so the depth of this recess, although it can't be huge, it's not, it's not a real big deal. Now that there is already just a hair bigger than I wanted, but we'll go ahead and leave that for the front side, maybe bring it down just a hair for the back. With my recess sized where I want it, or good enough for the front anyways, I haven't trued up the back of this plate yet. You can notice, and I'll check the depth for you, but you'll notice this recess is not very deep. We're not going to be doing a ton of heavy turning on this plate. Most all of it's going to be easy, and I don't need a lot to hold it in place. I have the recess where I want it. I'm just gonna flip this around. And I'm using my chuck and my jaws in expansion, not in contraction. So I'm not holding the tenon, I'm holding the little recess. That tenon being the front side of the bowl is going to get cleaned up on the way out. I'm not overly worried about everything being true and straight at the moment. I am, however, worried that and making sure that nothing hits. I come back and I want to use tailstock support for as much of this as possible. And I want to do the recess here on the back side. The recess that's going to end up being the foot for the bowl or the plate, and I'll keep that. Here I want to be careful and not go too big like I did on the front side. So you can see, maybe, I hope, that we still have quite a ways to go. I'm going to sneak up on it so that we don't end up like we did on the front side. All 
All right, I'm in, and that's good on the, the size of my recess. Now for the depth, again, we're not going to be doing a ton of high torque and heavy cuts on this plate, so this recess is not gonna be very deep. Deep enough to hold it, and when all the sanding is done, I'll still have a foot on the bowl. The inside here of this recess, I'm gonna clean up when I get done turning this backside and beating this backside. When I go ahead and move the tailstock away, it's an easy cleanup. 